Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you all? I think you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIAV Summer School. I am Muhammad Ali Amin Upu, an assistant teacher of mathematics, National Ideal English Summer School morning shift. Dear students, today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 2. Okay, so let's just start. Our today's topic is place value part 2. Okay, it's uh, lecture number is 5, your homework number is 4 for the annual term examination. My dear students, let's just start our class. In the previous class of place value, you have learned about what is place value and how to solve the place values. Okay, place value is what? Place value means the numbers value of the digits place. That means in one in a number, the digits value is called the place value. Suppose this is a number. It's one, two, three. This is a number and you know that this is this number is 123 but how can we tell this one we know the place value this is in the ones place this is in the tens place and this is in the hundreds place that's why we will say 123 right but if you are called to write down the place value of this number then how we can write down it's very simple you know that already but it is a brief discussion first of all we will draw these lines okay and when we draw these lines we must be careful about these gaps these gaps must be larger enough to write down a word or a sentence in between these two lines. okay that's why we should give this gap larger not so small then you should write down these numbers here 3 is in here 2 is in here and 1 is in here like this it's so simple after that we should write down the place values name after that we should write down place values name so 3 is in which place 3 is in ones place that means we should write down ones here o n e and s it means ones okay then 2 2 is in here which place 2 is in tens place Two tens T E N S tens. Now this is one. One is in which place? One is in hundreds place. So should I down hundreds? H U N D R E D and A S hundreds. Okay. Now we should give equal sign in all of the lines, and we should write down the value, the place value of these digits. Okay. Now how can we write down the place value? This three ones that means three is multiplied with one. Three ones means three is multiplied with one and it will be three. So here we should write down three. Now my dear students, two tens. That means what? That means two is in multiplied with tens. So ten into two. Okay. So this is how, how much is two zeros are zero, two ones are two. It will be twenty. So it will be twenty here and one hundreds that means one is multiplied with the number hundred so one hundred multiplied with one it will be how much one zero 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 one zero 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 one one zero one that means this one is one hundred so it will be one hundred here okay and to do this multiplication it's not necessary it is a totally rough and you can apply a short technique also except this multiplication what is the short technique the students look at the board first of all we will give these lines then we should write down the digits after that we will write down the place value name then we will give the equal sign then how we can write down these values okay look at the board carefully three first of all we should write down this three after three how many digits are there after three there are no digit that means three will be alone here i repeat after three there will be no digit that's why 3 is alone here okay now the second number is 2 second digit is 2 now indicate this 2 after 2 how many digits are there after 2 there are only one digit that's why we should write down 1 0 after this 2 that means 2 and 0 because of what because of this one digit after 2 there will be one digit that's why we should write down 1 0 after 2 and like this look my dear students it's one now should write down in this line one after one how many digits are there after one there are one two there are two digits after one 
that is why we should give two zeros after one that means after one we should give two zeros this is the easiest way I think to write down the place value okay and all of you know already how to write down the place values now we should solve these three problems okay on the board look at the board it's first number is 9045 it's 9045 so how should we solve this one first of all we should draw the lines to draw these lines we must be careful about the gaps okay gaps between these two lines okay then should write down these digits it's five it's four it's zero and it's nine now this five is in one's place we should write down once o n e s once then this four is in tens place we should write down tens this zero is in hundreds place we should write down hundreds okay and this zero is in thousands place we should write down thousands thousands okay now we must give the equal signs here okay equal sign now the shortcut way after five how many digits are there after five there are no digits that means five will be directly here okay five now after four how many digits are there we should write down here four tens equal to how much four tens so after four there will be one digit that is five okay one digit that's for this one digit we should write down one zero after this four so after four we should write down only one zero after four only one zero okay now zero hundreds after zero how many digits are there is very important after zero how many digits are there one two after zero this is the two zeros are there so we should write down two zero after this zero after this zero that means we should write down this zero then we should write down two zero again for the two digits four and five okay now nine is in thousands place so it will be nine thousand but after nine how many digits are there one two three there are three digits after nine so you should use three zero after nine nine triple zero or three zeros after nine okay this is our place value isn't it so easy we should solve now the second one the second one is seven thousand two hundred and six first of all we should draw this line to draw this line we must be careful about the gaps okay between the two lines okay between the horizontal two lines now my dear students we should write down the digits it's six it's zero it's two and it's seven now we should write down the place value names this six is in one's place that's why you should write down one sir o n e s once this zero is in tens place we should write down t e n s tens this two is in hundreds place that's why you should write down hundreds h u n d r e d s hundreds now this seven is in thousands place we should write down thousands here t h o u s a n d s thousands then our work is to give the equal sign okay in each of these lines we should give the equal signs after that we must write down the place value of the digits look this six is in one's place that's why it is be only six and for the shortcut way after six there are no digits that's why six will be alone six now we have zero is in the tens place that means after zero we have how many digit we have one digit that's why after this zero we will give another zero okay after this zero we will give one zero for the one digit six okay now two is in hundreds place and this two after this two we have two digit one two that's why after this two we will write down two zero is two then two zeros one zero two zero okay and this seven is in thousands place this seven is thousands place after this seven we have how many digit one two three digit so we will give three zeros after seven after seven we will give three zeros one two three that is the way to write down the place value okay the last one today the last one is ten thousand i have write down only ten thousand here and my dear students look in the previous place values we have four digit and now we have five digit one two three four five and this one is in one's place this zero sorry this zero is in one's place this zero is in tens place this third zero is in hundreds place this zero is in thousands place but what is the place value name of this one this place value name is 
ojut this placement name is ojut okay i am writing down the place value to write down the place value first of all we must draw these lines and we must maintain the gaps between the horizontal line okay between the two horizontal line we must give the gaps we must take the gaps to write down a line now we should write down this zero here the second zero here this third zero from the right side is here this fourth zero is here and here is one is here now my dear students we should write down the place value name the place values name we should write down in the with the digit this zero is in ones place we should write down ones o n e s ones okay this second zero from the right side is in the tens place we should write down tens this third zero from the right side is in the hundreds place we should write down hundreds now this fourth zero from the right side is in the thousands place we should write down thousand thousands okay and this one is in which place this one is in ojut place so we should write down ojuts okay it's ojuts a j u t s ojuts okay after the writing down the names we should give the equal sign in the right side okay this give equal sign equal sign equal sign and this equal sign now we should write down the place value so my dear students look very carefully this one zero has no digit in the right side that means after this zero we have no digit that's why this zero will be here alone okay now the second zero the this zero this zero after this zero we have how many zero how many digit one digit after this zero we have one digit that's why after this zero after this zero we will write down one zero in the right side now this zero is in the hundreds place this zero is in the hundreds place that's why after this zero you will give how many zero we will give two zero because of this two digit okay so after this zero we will give another two zero for this two digit okay now the fourth one it's zero is in thousands for this zero look after this zero we have one two three digit so after this zero we will give three zero also after this zero we will give three zero one two three zeros okay now the last one one is in ojut's place my dear students one is in ojut's place that's why you should write down what look after this one we have how many digit we have one two three four we have four digits that means after this one we should write down four zeros okay so write down at first at one and four zeros for the four digit one two three four now after this one we have write down one two three four zeros for the four digit one two three four digit okay i hope you have understood how to write down the place value okay this is the new one this is ojuts okay don't do mistake in the spelling of the ojuts okay and you must do the hw my dear students your hw number is four and this three is also your hw that means this three is cw plus hw okay this is your cw and this is also your hw number four hw number four that means hw number four is this three need to be done in your hw copy okay so do your hw properly and submit your hw in every saturday from 9 am to 3 pm see you again inshallah in the next class till then allah hafiz